Hi, I'm Liz McGuire and I'm here today to show you a beginner's guide to colouring with watercolour pencils. I use Derwent Inktense watercolour pencils. You will also need watercolour paper or fine grain heavyweight paper, which is what I've used today. The image I have stamped to colour is a penny black image called Team Effort. I have stamped with Versafine Onyx Black. This is a water resistant ink, so you can watercolour with that. You'll also need some water, a spare piece of kitchen roll, perhaps a blank bit of card underneath. I use a paintbrush, but I know these water brushes are quite popular, but I find I have less control over the water when I'm using them, so I'm just going to stick with my paintbrush. So we're going to start by laying down a wash of colour on the bear. Pick up some colour from the tip of your pencil and just lay down a wash of colour where you want the brown to be. Just pick up some colour from the brush as we go. The brush doesn't need to be too wet. If you find you've got too much, you can dab it on the kitchen roll to take some water off. Okay, so we'll go back to the bear in a moment. Let's put some colour on the post box. Some nice red on the post box. And again, just a wash of colour. Leave some white spaces because we want to have that watercoloured look. We can go back and add a second layer, which we'll do with the bear. And check that you've got the right sort of consistency on your spare card. Add some shading to his head and where we think it'll be a little bit darker. There we go, I think that's him done and we'll just put a darker little layer of on the post box just to brighten that up a little and to get a nice darker piece, so it's less water, it'll make it darker around the edges there. Now there's a couple of other ways you can use these pencils. You can lay down the colour on your spare card and pick up from there and you can see how that works quite well, just picking up the colour. Or we can do the pencil direct onto the image and just pull out the colour. with your brush. But I do prefer picking the colour up from the tip of the brush. I think it gives you more control over the colour. So there you go. You can now turn that nice little image into a super cute card. Thanks for watching today. Enjoy your pencils. Bye.